example, one of the important illustrative example which is present in the first unit. Okay. The illustrative problem here is insert a card in a list of sorted cards. Insert a card in a list of sorted cards. This problem is based upon the card games. Those are playing the, those are known to play the card games. You will know, you have to arrange the cards, right? Like king, queen, then 10, 9, like that you have to arrange it, right? If you don't know how to play the cards means also, it's not a issue. Just think about, you have to arrange the list of numbers. For example, 1 to 10, you have to arrange uh, in the, by adding the new cards and you have to arrange it in the ascending order or descending order. This is the concept here, okay? So, just think about, you have a list of numbers, you have to arrange it, sort it, okay? Here, insert a card in list of sorted card. What is sorted cards? So, already your cards are in the order, okay? Already, for example, there is 1 to 10 numbers are there. It should be in the ascending order or descending order, sorted order. 1, 2, 3, like that. It should be arranged in the order. In that, in between, you want to add a new element. That is the problem here. Okay, in between the numbers, you want to ascending sorted numbers, you have to add the new element. So, see this example, so that you can get the clear idea. Okay, first, <coughs> list of sorted cards. Okay, so list of sorted cards. What is, uh, those who don't know about the cards, just think it, list of numbers. List of numbers. Here, how many numbers are there? List means nothing but collection of values or numbers. Collection of values or elements. List is nothing but collection of values or elements. Here, how many values are there? Totally five values are there. Whether these values are in the shorted form? Yes. These values are present in the ascending order form. See, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. So, it is in the ascending order form. Here, just see here, I missed one element or I missed one card. 4 is not here, right? So, I am going to add the element 4 or the card 4 in between the sorted cards. This is the problem I am going to solve here. Already, there is a sorting now list of numbers are in the sorted order. In that fourth number is missing or fourth card is missing, I am going to include or I am going to insert the fourth card in the list of cards. All of you got it? So, I am getting the new card. Here I am explain the logic. Okay, first list of cards are there. Then I need a new card which I want to insert. Here fourth is missing. So, I am getting the new card as four. This is the four is the new card. Okay. Now, as per the list or uh, the collection concepts, we say it is a collections or sequences. Okay. It should be measured in the form of index. The st always the index starts from 0. This is the 1 is present in the 0th position. Position is index, okay. And this is in the first position. This is second. This is third. This is fourth. Okay. What is this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4? It is the position of the element in the list. Okay. Now, I want to add the, add this 4 in the list, right? So, what's the procedure here means, I want to add at the last. For that, we, we can use the function append or in general, in general English, what is append means, adding the element at the last of the list. What is append? Adding a one value or element at the last of the list. So, append. So, here I am added. So, here I clearly mentioned. See here, 1, 2, 3, then 5, 6, 4 is appended. Fourth card is appended at the last of the list. Now, I want to make this 4 want to come here, right? I want to now, I want to arrange in the order, sorted order. So, your 4, four want to be come before 5 and after 3. For that, we have to create the logic here, okay? So, first, what's the size of list? For solving this logic, we want to find the size of list. What's the size? Size means how many elements in the list? That's it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Totally, 6 elements are there. 
total how many elements are there six elements so your size is nothing but len of this list of sorted card size is nothing but length of the list this list name is list of sorted cards so len of list of sorted cards then the last index what's the size here you got the size as six so last index index means position what's the last position here five five so we can say it as size minus one your size is six so six minus one you will get five all of you got it all of you get it it's nothing but the position of the last element last index is nothing but position of the last element that is size minus one so here how we are going to check means if last index greater than zero so here i am going to use a loop okay so here i am going to use a loop that is while loop okay i am going to use one while loop so while if you are going for a while loop means three steps are there what are the three steps initialization condition increment or decrement so here last index is initialized what's the last index value 5 so while 5 greater than 0 whether the condition is true or not i want to sort the elements from here to 5 to 0 that's what i check the condition last index greater than 0 what's the last index here 5 5 greater than 0 condition true or false condition is true if condition is true means i am assigning where the new card is located what's the location of the new card the fourth location is this 5 right that's what 5 nc nc is nothing but new card new card is present in the location of last index that is 5 here it is 5 then previous card next to the last card this position 60 is the previous card right so pc equal to 5 minus 1 that is 4 all of you got it this is last card nc equal to new card is present in the last and previous card is present in last minus 1 now i am going to compare i want to arrange in the ascending order right so i am comparing if last nc okay if new card less than previous card what is new card new card is 4 and what is previous card 6 if 4 less than 6 means we have to swap it we have to swap the values we have to bring the uh, 4 this side and 6 that side okay again what's the third step in the while loop increment or decrement so that only you can able to close the loop so i am decrementing the last index value now what's the last index value after decrement your last index value is 4 again it will work 4 greater than 0 now what's the last element last is now 4 and here location okay last is 4 4 minus 1 3 so here 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay now in the fourth location which one is the 4 and previous 3 in the third location 5 is the 4 less than 5 again we are checking the condition is 3 so we are swapping 5 will come in the last and 4 will come this side so this is the logic behind the list of sorted cards okay now i am going to explain the algorithm okay with the help of the logic i am going to explain the algorithm first step is for all the algorithm the first step is start the algorithm so start then get the list of sorted cards what's the variable name here for collecting the sorted cards sorted list of elements i am using the variable list of sorted cards what's the variable name here list of sorted cards then get a new card that is nothing but your nc new card new card is get the new card and stored in the variable of new card okay i am getting a new element and stored in the variable called new card 
these underlying words are the variables okay then up and what is up and you want to add the new card at the last of the list of sorted cards at the last of the list you have to add the new card so up and the new card to the list of sorted cards you are adding at the last this step okay then find the size of the list why we need the size you want to find the location or position of the elements for that we need the size so find the size of the list and stored in the variable list size so inside the list size only the size is there so you want to find the index where it is the new element is located so last index equal to last list size minus 1 size minus 1 is stored under the last index all of you got it now you are starting the loop check last index greater than 0 i am checked there right the condition is true means go to step 8 in the step 8 what we are doing new card equal to list of cards last index so the element which is present in the last position is the new card that is 4 then assign previous card what is previous card the element which is present next to the last card so previous card equal to list of sorted cards in the position last index minus 1 so before to the last value is the previous card and the last value is the new card now you are checking a condition whether the new card is less than the previous card if it is true swap the values you have to make the new card value to the previous card and previous card value to the new card we are rearranging then it's a conditional loop condition variable you are decrementing the loop if you are not using this your loop cannot be terminated so degree is the last index so now you are going to check the uh, last before indexes okay last index equal to last index minus one again go to step seven again your loop will be executed okay then again the same process will be displayed uh, uh, same process will be continued again and again till the last index is greater than zero that is last index value reaches the first position then it will display the arranged cards what you saw in the example i hope you understand this now we are going to see about the pseudo code for the particular illustrative example insert a card in the list of sorted cards already i explained the logic of the sorted cards as well as the algorithm okay now in the we are going to see about the pseudo code in the pseudo code always starts with the keywords we are writing the pseudo code with the help of keywords so instead of start in the algorithm here we have to use begin after that get list of sorted cards get list of sorted card means you are getting the list of elements you are creating the list from the user for example 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 then get the input as new card then you have to get the input for the new card what element or what card you are going to insert that input you are getting the here then append append means you are going to add the particular new card at the end of the list so you are adding at the last of the list appending the new card what you get as input at the end of the list of sorted cards okay then what the next step we have to find the location for finding the location we want to find the length so compute you have to find the list size so you are use the keyword compute list size equal to length of the list what's the list name here list of started cards so len of list of started cards what's the next step we have to find the location so last index where the new card is located it is at the appended at the last so last card why assign last index equal to last list size minus one last index equal to what is list size here size of the list minus one why we are taking minus one as the index started from 0 
always it is n minus 1 here list size minus 1. Now your loop is going to start ok. So here you are using a keyword loop while then while what is the last index here last index is nothing but size minus 1 right. So last index greater than 0 you are checking a condition whether the last index is greater than 0. If this condition is true we are assigning the new card new card equal to initialization new card equal to list of started cards last index uh, actually in the last index only your new card is there right so you are assigning the position new card equal to list of started card is your list and the last index index position last position you are assigning here as well as previous card means last minus one right so previous card equal to in the list last index minus 1 that is nothing but for new card you are assigning the last position for previous card you are assigning the previous position of the last card all of you got it till now if this the condition is true these two initialization will be happen after that you have to check the condition what's the condition here if your new card less than previous card if this condition is true your new card is less than the previous card then you have to swap the cards ok you have to swap and initialize it how you are swapping see here list of card, uh, started card is your list the last index equal to previous card you are putting the previous card value at the last position and you are putting the new card uh, value in the last minus one previous position ok after that the loop will be the condition will be ended so you are using the end if again if you are going for a looping means three concepts initialization condition here decrement last index equal to last index minus one if you are not using this increment decrement your loop cannot be terminated so end why the same process will be repeated again again now the list last index here minus one right so again it will be changed so the values will be changed again the initialization will be happen again the if condition will be checked it should be repeated again and again till the last index value is equal to equal to 1 if it is greater than 0 means till it reaches 1 the same process will be repeated all of you got it next we are going to see about the algorithm sorry flow chart for the particular illustrative example we are going to see about the flow chart for the particular illustrative example insert your card in the list of sorted cards ok so like your pseudo code and like your pseudo code and algorithm first step is this oval symbol denotes the start oval start and stop you have to put the oval symbols pseudo code is done with the help of keywords and flow chart is done with the help of the symbols ok so first start then what's the next step you have to get the input of the list that is list of sorted cards as well as new card so for that we have to put the parallelogram symbol getting the inputs what are the inputs you are going to get the list of sorted cards as well as a new card then what's the next step you have to find the length of the list so length of the particular list name sorted cards will be assigned to list size list size equal to length you are finding the length of the particular list so it should be put in the uh, rectangular symbol that is process symbol computation ok then last index what is last index last index means uh, we are finding the last position position of the list last index equal to this list size minus 1 here we are going to checking a loop here last index equal to one value you will get ok that particular value is greater than 0 we are checking a while loop whether the last index is greater than 0 yes it is greater than 0 so if the condition is true means if this the condition is true means see here it will come here we have to assign two things what are the two things we have to find the new card as well as the previous card so new card equal to the particular list list of sorted card is the list name right in the list last index is the new card because you appended because you appended at the last position so new card equal to list of sorted card last index then previous card equal to list of sorted cards from 
last index minus 1 ok so new card is the last position and previous card is the last index minus 1 now you are going to check the if condition why anyway the last uh, element is the appended your new card is appended at the last so now you have to arrange in the you have to sort it it should be arranged in ascending or descending so you have to swap the elements for that i am checking a condition if new card less than previous card if it is less than previous card means we have to if this condition is true we have to swap it how you are swapping this is list of cards last index equal to previous card so last position you are putting the previous card and previous position you are putting the new card last index minus one that is previous position you are putting the new card so these things are comes under the computational box rectangular box and decision will become in the diamond symbol what's the next step three things are there right for the looping initialization condition increment or decrement this is the last step last you have to decrement the loop so last index equal to last index minus one so again it's a loop right repetition so it come back to the while loop now the last index got reduced again you are seeking a condition whether it is greater than zero if the condition is true the same thing will be repeated again and again till the last index value reaches one that is greater than zero so it is one once the condition is false it will display the list okay so again display means output so you are using a parallelogram symbol then stop the program i hope you understand these concepts of uh, inserting a card in the list of sorted cards